Colonel Dracus here with another unboxing, this time of the Cataphron Battle Servitors for the Adeptus Mechanicus. So, I have built a set of these guys already as the uh, destroyers. Um, thinking I may just build these as more destroyers or not sure yet. Um, Breachers, they give a little bit more close, close combat ability, but I've got quite a bit in that my army already so I don't know if that's going to be just a good little addition or if I just need to keep them a little bit more shooting but uh, let's take a look at what's inside here for you get this plastic cut open for everybody Transfers. Got three good sized bases here. And we've got three separate sprues. Let's put the sprues on the side. We all know what bases look like. Don't need to go much in depth on those. Transfers, always nice to have. in frame there. There we go. Transfer's always nice to have. We got our instructions for the uh, destroyers and the breachers. So these look like they have a little bit older style, not full, full uh, color with all the options that the other ones have. But you build the tracks basically the same for both. First couple pages here. After that, they give you the instructions for the uh, destroyers. The destroyers are a little bit less armored, but they've got uh, bigger guns. So you get the plasma or the uh, heavy grav, and then you either get the phosphor or the uh, the flamer, and you put them on the base. And the breachers here. Uh, they get a little bit extra armor skirting on the sides, where these ones don't. And a little bit of extra armor on the front plates also. And then with these, they come with um, either an arc claw or a hydraulic claw. And uh, they get a gun as well. So either the, the arc rifle or the torsion cannon. So, arc rifle uh, gets two shots, I think. If not now, then the, the uh, info was leaked earlier. So, I think they're going to be going to two. And then the torsion cannon is just one shot. I think these are going to go to uh, D3 plus three damage for the torsion cannons. So, those will be nice. And you've got all the little cables and everything. Once that's done, you put them on the base. Call it good. Then you got get the, the rules. They are a troop. And they are also considered an infantry as of now, which is interesting. Um, pretty heavy duty engine infantry models uh, for a troop choice, uh, which is nice for Adme. And then we've got the sprues. Let's go ahead and see if we can zoom in here. So zooming in here, got little arms, that looks like chest piece there, one of the cannons, I think that's the grab cannon, main track parts, a little extra side skirting here for the breacher, uh, you got your arc rifle, you got your plasma here. Got you a little bit of a torso. This is like the back engine part for the, uh, or the top for the, uh, the, the torso. So these go together and this kind of goes on top. Uh, the torso kind of sits in there. Got your flamer, your claw here. I think that's the 
the other claw. What's that one? I don't know. There's all kinds of different pieces to this thing. Nice jam-packed full of different bits. Here. So that's sprue one. And here's sprue two. Are they duplicates? Let's see. If they are all just duplicates of each other. That looks pretty much like a duplicate. And then this one is a duplicate. So you, you get three copies of the same sprue. Um, I think maybe some of the armor bits or something was different. I can't remember, but I know there's a little bit of variety in there. So maybe it's just little sections for like the armor plates or something that are a little bit different. But uh, overall, pretty pretty simple model. You just get three of them. Um, and they've been pretty effective for me in my game so far. So I do rate the, uh, the Cataphrons pretty high. A lot of detail in these two, even with just the, uh, the tracks here. Let's see if I could zoom in a little bit more on those so you guys can see the detail in those tracks. Quite a bit of detail throughout this whole thing here. It's kind of sliding around. There's your chest piece. So, all right guys, that's basically it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, go ahead and put them in the, uh, the comments down below. And we'll see what we could do for, uh, for our next video. Zoom out a little bit. Ta-da. All right, so that is from servers. Alright guys, thanks for watching. You guys take care and happy hobbying.